Asia-Pacific Prosperity and World Peace, The Everlasting Friendship of China and Thailand. Sino-Esoteric Buddhism Association Delegation Visits Thailand With the objective to strengthen Buddhism as the bridge for cultural exchange and to promote friendship between the people of China and Thailand, thanks to the sincere invitation of M. L. Supab Pramoj, the Sino-Esoteric Buddhism Association Delegation visited Thailand to celebrate 40 years of diplomatic relations between China and Thailand. Members of the delegation are all disciples of the Vija Master Jin Ku Shen Lei, a Dharma Raja of Sino-Esoteric Buddhism with Dharani from the Esoteric Essences of Tathagata. Under the sunny and peaceful sky of Bangkok, the opening ceremony of the 2015 Asia-Pacific Business Summit and the Asia-Pacific Buddhism Art Exhibition was held at Queen Siracut National Convention Center on December 7, 2015. The chairman of the Thai-Chinese Friendship, Mr. Korn Dabaransi, ML Sapab Pramoj, renowned spiritual leader of South Asia, the Venerable Sanghanayaka Sudananda Mahatharo, and eminent persons from all sectors of Thailand, including local Thai-Chinese leaders, attended the opening ceremony. The Dharma Chaya Jinka Yinjia read the following congratulatory message from the Vira Master Jinka Shenle. Today, my Dharma Kaya will travel through time and space to be with you in Thailand. This is an extraordinary causation and also a predestined connection formed in our past lives, which is also the rise of our dependent origination in this life. The Asia-Pacific region covers a great area of our Earth and is home to many countries. The combined population of this region is the largest in the world, and it is also filled with many ancient and flourishing civilizations. The stability and prosperity of the Asia-Pacific region are essential to the peaceful and continuous development of our world. President Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China said in his speech at the UNESCO headquarters, We should encourage different civilizations to respect each other and live in harmony, so that exchanges and mutual learning between civilizations will become a bridge promoting friendship between people around the world, an engine driving progress of human society, and a bond cementing world peace. At the beginning of this year, he also proposed the slogan, When people have faith, our nation will have hope and our country will be powerful. This message shows that he respects and advocates the freedom of religion. The Vira Master Jin Ke Shenle's message continues, Compared with the vast and open space of the universe, Earth is as small as a grain of dust. All who live on this Earth are members of the same family. We should look past borders, ethnicities, and religious beliefs to find a way for harmonious coexistence without war and hatred. We need to love and be kind to one another. Let us unite together to create a pure land of beauty and happiness for all sentient beings. Following the gun salute, the honorable guests unveiled the Mandela of Sino-Esoteric Buddhism Sadharma with Dharani from the Esoteric Essences of Tathagata. Everyone was deeply touched by the solemnity and beauty of the Mandela. Waves of applause filled the room. The painting was especially created by the Master and his disciples for the friendship of China and Thailand. This painting is also called the Garbadatu Mandela of Compassion. It is solemn and wondrous, as the blossom of a lotus flower. Sino-Esoteric Buddhism Sutras, with the power to protect the nation, and Esoteric Sanskrit Mantras from Buddhas and Bodhisattvas were inscripted within the Mandela. The blessings of these esoteric mantras contain merits and virtues from the essence of Tathagata. They have powers to protect the sovereignty of the nation and to protect the people of Thailand, to spread the concept of peace and Bodhi love all over the world. On behalf of the Vira Master Jin Ku Shun Lei, Dharma Chaya 
Jin Ke Yin Jie gave the painting and calligraphy, the esoteric mandala, to the people of Thailand. This painting was specially created by the master, with wisdom and blessing for the Thai people. M. L. Supab Pramoj awarded Dharma Chaya Jin Ke Yin Jie, a Sino esoteric Buddhism disciple, with the Royal King's Medal of Thailand. He also presented the Golden Lotus Awards to artists of Beijing Jinka Mandela Painting and Calligraphy Institute. The awards were given to Jinka Yindang, Jinka Yinduan, Jinka Yinding, Jinka Yinyi, and many other artists from the Institute. The exhibition was organized into themes of paintings and calligraphies of wisdom created by the Vira Master Jinka Shenle. Founders of the Sino Esoteric Buddhism, Legends of the Master's Path to Enlightenment, and other artworks which were created by the Master in cooperation with his disciples. The centerpiece of the exhibition was a giant painting created by the Master. The esoteric Mandela of the Golden Dragon was created by the Master with wisdom and divine blessing. Through this painting, Everyone was sincerely moved by the deep and profound wisdom of Sino esoteric Buddhism. The art exhibition received high praises from the people of Thailand. The chairman of the Thai Chinese Friendship, Mr. Korn Dabaransi, was deeply touched. He thanked the Sino esoteric Buddhism Association delegation for coming to Thailand to promote the friendship between the two countries. And to encourage cultural exchange and development in the Asia Pacific region. The chairman sincerely hopes that the master will visit Thailand soon to spread the teachings of Buddha Dharma and to increase Thai people's understanding of Sino esoteric Buddhism. That evening, the extraordinary praying ceremony for peace and friendship of China and Thailand was held at the Queen Sirikut National Convention Center. The Mandela was surrounded by banners and lotus lamps. 108 Jinka disciples in ceremonial Dharma robes, holding lotus lamps in their hands, stood around the Mandela, following the rituals of Sino Esoteric Buddhism. Led by Dharma Chayas, eminent persons from all sectors of Thailand, delegates from India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Singapore, Indonesia, and many other countries participated in the ceremony. Guided by incense, flowers, and lamps, the welcoming team led the Dharma Chaya Jin Ke Yin Jie to the Mandela. The Dharma Chaya Jin Ke Yin Jie, holding a vira in his hand, presided over the ceremony following Sino esoteric Buddhism rituals. <laughs> He prayed for the Dharmakaya of the Vira Master Jinka Shenle to rise to the sky above. For the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas from all ten directions, heavenly guardians to descend onto the Mandela to bless the people of China and Thailand with stability and prosperity and health and happiness. All participants joined in to pray for Asia Pacific prosperity, for world peace, and for the everlasting friendship of China and Thailand. <laughs> Sapo 
细心的愚昧无知，使我在痛苦烦恼的轮回中迷茫。在法界之光明亮的道路上，指定禅密观修中。愿上师佛日神通虚化空相，和微妙的光子发生护佑，在我前。愿金刚虚空佛母菩提，甘露洒遍我全身。不动明王护佑在我后，加持我。帮助我了脱三世一切障碍，甚是超越三界。ML Supa Pramosh arranged for the Sino Esoteric Buddhism delegation to form Dharma connections with the Wat Prasi Ratana Satsa Dharam, the Wat Ben Chama Bopi Dusit Vanaram, the Golden Mount Temple, the Wat Bowan Nivet. Vihara Raja Vara Vihara and other temples around Bangkok. The delegation exchanged on Dharma with the temple monks, spread the teachings of Sino Esoteric Buddhism, and was well received by all they met. The delegation received a warm welcome from the Sangha when they visited the Wat Ben Chama Bopi Dusit Vanaram. M L Supa Pramoj and the abbot of the monastery introduced how Buddhism spread in Thailand. They said Buddhism is the founding principle of their country and government. The constitution of Thailand clearly states, as the representation of their nation, the king must be a Buddhist believer. The people of Thailand also use the teachings of the Buddha to conduct themselves. The Buddha Dharma is part of the required curriculum in all elementary and high schools. All of the Thai people have a basic knowledge of Buddha Dharma. Therefore, they know how to differentiate between good and evil. Evil religions have no place in Thailand because there is no nourishment for them to grow. Bangkok has been known by many as the city of angels, the city of temples. No matter where you look, there is always a sight of a temple's golden roof nearby and monks in yellow robes walking by. Harmony is the common link between people and people and animals. Thus, Thailand is called the land of smiles. The warm, kind, and forgiving nature of Thailand could not be possible without the teachings of Buddha Dharma. The Golden Mount Temple is in the center of Bangkok. On the top of the mount, people can prostrate themselves to the Sarira of the Buddha. Every year, thousands of believers come to prostrate themselves to the Sarira. The delegation had friendly exchanges with the Sangha of the Golden Mount Temple. There are over 30,000 temples in Thailand. They are spread throughout every corner of Thailand, even to the far reaches of the nation. The temples are places for monks to practice and are also responsible for educating society. They also function as charity institutions. The temples have significant influence on politics. Economics and everyday lives in Thailand. According to the tradition of Thai people, every male must join the sangha at least once in his life. This is the most important journey in their lives. Not even the king can be exempt from this tradition. Why is the experience of sangha life so important? As a monk, the first thing he needs to learn is to take an alms bowl and beg for food to receive whatever was given to him. Through this process, he will have gratitude for his parents and sentient beings. Second, when he learns the precepts of Buddha Dharma, he will know everything he does has karma. Therefore, he will have respect and fear for the divine. This will cause him to restrain himself from committing bad deeds. Even if he does do bad deeds, he will know he needs to confess his deed and never to do it again. By practicing Buddhism, he can also learn from the wisdom of Buddha Dharma to help guide himself in his future life, jobs, and relationships. Many doctrines in Theravada Buddhism teach people to follow precepts. Some doctrines teach people their roles as husband or wife, parents or children, teacher or pupil, 
and many other roles people may encounter in life. These doctrines are deeply rooted in the heart of the Thai people. They have deep and profound influence in maintaining social order, moral principles, and educating the masses. This should be a significant idea to consider for modern society. During the delegation's visit to Wat Bawani Wet Vihara Raja Vera Vihara, the head of the Sangha at the monastery invited the delegation to recite mantras for the 19th Supreme Patriarch of Thailand, Somdet Pranyana Samvara, before the royal cremation of His Holiness. Members of the delegation formed a mandala according to the Sino-Esoteric Buddhism ritual and began to recite esoteric mantras in ancient Sanskrit. They prayed for the Dharmakaya of the Viram master Jinka Shenle, the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas from all ten directions and heavenly guardians to descend onto the sky above them where they would bless the Supreme Patriarch on his path to the Buddha's realm. May His Holiness return to us once again with compassion to spread the teachings of Buddha. With the warm invitation of Professor Pinit Rata Nakul, the delegation visited the College of Religious Studies at Mahidol University on the 9th of December. The delegation was warmly greeted by the professor and his associate professor, along with a group of professors, students, and monks who are studying at the college. Mahidol University is ranked as among the top five universities of Thailand. Professor Dr. Pinit Rata Nakul is the founding director of the College of Religious Studies. He is also an instructor to Her Royal Highness Princess Makri Shakri Sarindorn of Thailand. As a Buddhist himself, he has spent his life promoting the idea to use the compassionate love from the Buddha Dharma to solve modern-day conflicts in our society. He wishes to utilize the wisdom and great love of Mahayana Buddhism to unite people from different countries, ethnicities, and religious backgrounds. He believes this wisdom will also be able to resolve hatred, purify the soul, and change the views of sentient beings while increasing their wisdom. This process will promote the peaceful and harmonious development of the human world. After having heard a brief introduction of the Vira Master Jinka Shenle's incredible path to enlightenment and the compassionate stories of the Master's effort in spreading the Buddha Dharma from the past few decades, the professor was very touched. He put his palms together and said, I hope I will have a chance to meet your Master where I could receive blessings and protection from his Dharmakaya. I want to follow his teachings to reach Buddhahood. The Deputy Governor of Bangkok, Mr. Amorn Kita Wangkul, received members of the Sino-Esoteric Buddhism Association at the Bangkok City Hall on the afternoon of December 9th. The Governor initiated the meeting by first welcoming the delegation to Thailand with these words, Thailand is a Buddhist country. As a Buddhist myself, I have great respect for the Mahasiddhas. I extend my sincere invitation to your master to visit Thailand and spread the teachings of Sino-Esoteric Buddhism. I hope he will bring the seed of Sino-Esoteric Buddhism to the people of Thailand and also exhibit the Sino-Esoteric Buddhism Mandela paintings in our National Museum. The exhibition will help the citizens of Bangkok to understand the deep and profound wisdom behind the Sino-Esoteric Buddhism Mandela artworks and also to learn the extraordinary path your master undertook in spreading the Buddha Dharma. Dharma Chaya Jin Ke Yin Jie blessed the governor with health and happiness by touching his head. The governor also received the painting Auspicious Dragon, Elephant and Bat from the Dharma Chaya on behalf of the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration. The painting was created by the Vira Master Jin Ke Shen Le to symbolize the friendship of China and Thailand in the form of an esoteric mandala that is filled with wisdom. In the 21st century, cultural exchange of religious beliefs have become a significant method in promoting world peace, resolving hatred, eliminating conflicts, and spreading the message of love. Thailand and China are both countries with deep connections in Buddha Dharma. 
The successful visit of the Sino-Esoteric Buddhism delegation to Thailand has opened a new chapter in the cultural exchange between the two countries. We believe, under the blessings of the Buddha, the people of Thailand and China will find their bright futures together.